It's that time of day again. Ian, are you excited? I am excited. Today's recipe is going to blow people's socks off. Absolutely fantastic, spectacular. That's right, it must be Mexican week, because what are we making, eh? Burrito Samosas! Woohoo! Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bosch TV. Now then, people, happy bank holiday if you're in the UK, or whatever else, mm -hmm. if you're somewhere else. And what a bank holiday. Goodness gracious me, it's been beautifully, beautifully sunshiny. Henry and I have just been down at Batsy Park with our mates and we, well, our housemates, shall we say. And uh, yeah, we've had a great time. It's been a good day. You look like you caught the sun a little bit over there, E. I know. Been sunbathing. This. Check it out. Proper. I mean, it was, it was very, very nice weather today. Beautiful weather. And um, yeah, like it was a real treat. And so we hope that you guys have managed to get out in the sun as well. A bit of vitamin D. But anyway, enough about the sunshine. Let's crack on with today's thing. What are we doing today? I'll tell you what we're doing today. We're cooking something delicious. Burrito samosas. Mm. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It's, mm. This is kind of like a recipe that uh, someone made up for a laugh and then decided it would become a thing. But that someone was us. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, they, it was us. And basically, it's, um, yeah, it's got really popular. Like, we released the video about three years ago, and people went really, really wild for it. And it was really, really cool. And then we thought, hmm, this is a good recipe. So we decided that we'd pop it in our first cookbook, Bosch, um, which is where it lives now. And the amount of photographs that we get from this, um, about this recipe, is like quite surprising. So basically, let me show you what we have um, going in to these wonderful burrito samosas. So this is the top cam, and I don't know if you can see that, but look, there's like a big plethora of wonderfully colourful ingredients. And because this is a live cook-along, it's a live Bosch video, and a lot of you guys have, are going to be cooking along with us, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it's every single out, ingredient, and I'm going to go through every single... If there's a problem, if there's a problem. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Uh, and here we go. So. We have three Maris Pipers, we have one red onion, three garlic cloves, one red pepper, one fresh red chilli, three tablespoons of vegetable oil, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of ground coriander, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one tablespoon of Tabasco sauce, one 400 gram tin of black beans, 250 grams of cooked basmati rice, one and a half limes, 15 grams of fresh coriander leaves, 100 grams of dairy-free cheese, six large tortillas, and then for dressing, we're gonna go with a little bit of guacamole and some salsa. Now you could make it at home, we've got recipes in both of our books, or you could buy it from a shop, which we did today because, you know, we are out in the sun, so we thought we'd just give ourselves a little bit of time. So what I'm, go what I'm gonna do now is um, lay the deck out, and uh, if you've got any questions, drop them in the box below, because Charlie is in Henry's ear. He certainly is. I have producer Charlie in my ear. He is uh, checking all the feeds to make sure that everything is running fine. We should be live on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram right now. Nice. He's also keeping an eye on your questions. So um, first of all, give a massive shout out to Chaz Mataz, AKA Charlie. Secondly, put your questions in the comments. Any thoughts? Um, and, and let us know, are you cooking along? What have you been up to this bank holiday? And what do you think of this recipe, the burrito samosas? Because it is a little bit bonkers. It is very, very bonkers. But do you know what? It's really delicious. I mean, look at this. And let me just grab this from the little set that we dressed. Look at that. I mean, goodness me. It is just, it's an amazing thing. We watched a, a movie yesterday. We seem to be watching a lot of movies. Uh, <laughs> the movie that we watched was Apollo 13, so it's kind of like spacey. And this is kind of space age as well. It's kind of like got the surface of the moon and uh, the shape of, well, like a UFO. And most importantly, the flavor in there is absolutely banging. So this is Mexican week. In there, we've got all of that fire, all of that heat, all of the good stuff that you would find inside a burrito, like the rice, like the black beans, like the coriander, like some onions that have been simmered down with some garlic and all of those herbs and spices. We've got all that going on, but inside a tortilla, which we decided to wrap in a triangle. Exactly. It's such a logical way to do something. It's kind of like um, a crunch wrap, but um, a small, um, better version because it's like you'll see later on the way that we fold it in is like really really logical so it's gonna be cool anyway um, now what I'm doing is just prepping the set from the top cam so you can have a little look at that 
Do shut let us down. know, people at home, what have you been up to this bank holiday weekend? Charlie, let's do a couple of shout outs for people um, for their bank holiday fun. What have you been doing? What's been happening? It's absolutely scorching here, isn't it? It has been a beautiful day, a wonderful day, and the day uh, is only just gonna get better because we're about to cook something delicious. And the first thing we need to do when we cook this delicious thing is pop a little bit of oil in the pan. So. Yeah, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the um, light olive oil in the pan. Hold on, hold on. You could use light olive oil or you could use vegetable oil, whatever you wish. Um, and like, do you know what? We went to the store the other day and they now have chili oil. Like very, very, very easy to find, which is uh, very cool. Uh, are we gonna use that one? Yeah, that's cool. Sorry, we're just uh, sorting out the, uh, I'm definitely gonna need it here. <laughs> just zoom out before, okay. Uh, yeah, nice, cool. That's good, sorry about this guys, one second. Nice, okay, good. Right, so we are making our Bosch video, we are making burrito samosas, and it's gonna be a lot of good fun. And the first thing that's going in here is vegetable oil or light olive oil, which is what I've got. So that's gonna go in first. Here we go. Oh, three, two, one, and here we go. Woohoo! Right, vegetable oil. There it goes, check that out. And we've got to warm that up nicely. Um, and then the next thing that's going in is these red onions. Check that out, you see them? Yes, chopped red onions. And now you could use white onions, you could use shallots, you could use spring onions, but really, we like red onions because you know it's got good color. It's kind of like eating the rainbow. So that's gonna go in here like that, nice one. And then, as we've told you guys a few times already with the lives, is, well, we pop a little bit of salt in with the onions and it makes the onions cook a damn sight easier and quicker than it would do otherwise. So now what we're gonna do is move the onions around in the pan. And that is exactly what we're doing now. So keep on moving the onions around the pan for around about three, for maybe even as much as five minutes, okay? And the more you move them around, the more you let them cook down, the softer they become, and the better they are to eat, which is what we are looking for, because obviously, what's the point in making food that doesn't taste absolutely wonderful? Right, there we go. I'm going to now move that along, and it's gonna be real good. Guys, like we said before, Hope you've had a wonderful bank holiday. We have had a very, very good bank holiday. We were working on something actually quite cool. We worked Saturday, Sunday, um, because we are, are doing this thing that you, we can't tell you about just yet, but if it pulls off, you guys are gonna be super stoked by it, so that'll be cool. Right, so, like I said before, what we need to do is get our onions to a really nice sort of caramelized kind of color. And that is almost good. So I actually cook some before, which is, uh, which, is, which is good. Shall I get those out now? I reckon that's probably a good idea. So here we go, that is those. So check that out. That's how they are now, and this is how you want yours to be. So they need to be cooked down nicely, and they need to have this kind of like blue kind of color, right? And that's what we're after. Boom. So if we just turn those around like so, and keep on going. What you'll find is that like now, because we've got that deep purple, almost indigo blue type color, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, um, they're a lot sweeter than they were before. And they smell um, dramatically different than the other ones. So there we go. Very, very good, very good, very good. And now the next thing that we need to do is we need to pop in these peppers. So we've got some peppers and they are going into our pan like so. So we've chopped down, it's just one red pepper, we've chopped it into centimeter cubes, and we're just gonna turn that around in the pan until they start softening a little bit, okay? I this smell. might be a good time to have a little question. Charlie, how are we doing? Or have we got any uh, bank holiday weekend shout outs? <laughs> so Jem, Jem is currently painting in her conservatory, apparently. Is she? Is nice she one, Jem. Painting in the conservatory or painting the conservatory? Because if you were painting conservatory, <laughs> it means that you'd be blacking out the windows. 
Why? Oh, what? As in painting the windows? Yeah, because the conservatory is usually made out of glass. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Right here we go. So there we um, so there we have our red and uh, red peppers and red onions. They're doing the rounds in here. And now I'm going to add the next things, which are three cloves of garlic that have been grated. Boom, straight in there. Then we've got a chili. Now you could use a red chili. You could use a green chili. We had a green chili, so I've used that. And now we're going to turn that around here as well. And just keep this going um, until the aroma of the garlic has really popped up. So, oh, it smells good in here already. It's looking nice. It's looking nice. And there we are. Yeah, just so if you're cooking along with us, which we hope you are, um, yeah, just like I say, just keep on moving it around. Be careful not to burn the garlic. Make sure that the, um, the pan is like at a reasonable heat. Make sure that it's not too cold and definitely not too hot because nobody wants burnt garlic. Burnt garlic is absolutely, definitely, by no means, the one. That's good, very good indeed. So we have a question, Ian, why are we using red onion here? What's the reason for that? Well, red onion, uh, well, it's, it's got lots of color, it's got lots of wonderful flavor, and um, I think when we wrote this recipe, we had a, uh, like a, a real obsession with red onions. We seem to use red onions quite a lot. So it's quite interesting looking uh, back at this book that was written two years ago. All the recipes are wonderful, but um, th th there's things in there that we were definitely doing at that time. It's kind of like, um, like an artist would write an album, right? Um, and they'd be like, oh, that was like the period of their life at that time. So yeah, it's quite interesting to see the way that time is making, uh, doing its thing with that book. Well, those recipes are now classics, they I are. feel. The classics. There indeed. must have been like something like 400,000 of the Bosch books sold now. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's not our album. Yeah. It belongs to all of you lot who yeah. bought it now. Um, but yeah, there, you, you kind of, there was a certain way that we did things back then. But yeah. we still used a lot of red onions in that recipe. Yeah. In that, in that recipe book, I mean. Yeah, definitely. Right, so here we go. So there we have what we're after. So now I'm going to add some flavour, more flavour. Okay, so we've got some ground cumin, uh, ground coriander rather, which is going in. And then we've got cumin. And that's going in as well. And then we've got some smoked paprika. Or paprika. Paprika. There we go. Now turn this around. Oh my goodness gracious, as I'm sure you can appreciate and imagine, it does smell utterly unbelievable in here now. All that spice. All that onion, all that garlic, amazing. I mean, yeah, it smells incredible. Really? A lot of people are asking whether or not one could put this in a burrito shape rather than in a samosa shape. I mean, you could definitely <laughs> do that. You could definitely do that, but then it would stop being a burrito samosa. It would just be a burrito. So, yeah, we did this um, because I feel that like, it's actually a more logical shape than a burrito. It's a bit easier to eat, isn't it's, it? It's easier, and it's easier to dip in things as well. The stuff doesn't fall out like a burrito. If you dip it, yeah. all the stuff will fall out of the end. And also, like with a burrito, you need more or less, you definitely need a, um, you need some tinfoil. Whereas this, you don't need any tinfoil at all. So there we go. Right, so check this out. What we've got there is some really nicely toasted, um, oiled spices that have gripped onto that um, ingredients that we've got in there. And now we're going to add this. Now, what we've got here is three Maris Piper potatoes, and a really good trick for doing this is cutting them down into about sort of two centimeter chunks, putting um, some cling film over the top of it, popping it in the microwave for five minutes, and then what you're left with is cooked potato, and that's what's going into our pan right now. Boom. Why are we using potato, dude? Our oh, potato will bulk out our... Um, our burrito samosa at no end. I mean, it's really, really tasty. It's um, really, really hearty and it's filling, isn't it? So this kind of harks back to the samosa. Yes. This is the other thing that makes this a bit samosa-y. Yes. Because exactly. you wouldn't really get potatoes inside a burrito. That is, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're so right. You are so, so right. We had Chris on YouTube um, asking about uh, spice mixes and Chris, you know what? First of all, Please feel free to freestyle with any of our recipes. We encourage you to. But he was also asking about whether or not he could use a fajita mix yeah. uh, for this. Yeah, fajita mix, absolutely. I mean, like, the, the good thing about this fajita mix is that, is that those companies have done the work for you. You don't need to make your own. You just buy one. And uh, they're perfect. They're great. 
So there we go, check this out. So we've got the potatoes have taken on the color, everything's sort of married together beautifully. And now we're gonna introduce these, which are one tin of black beans. So it's a 400 gram tin or 240 grams drained weight. And what I've got here is a tablespoon of Tabasco sauce. So if you like heat, pop it in. If you don't, take it out. There we go. Right, I'm gonna turn these around here now. And what we're looking for, you'll notice the pan here is a little bit dry and that's perfect because this is going to go into a big tortilla. And we don't want that tortilla to get soggy. It needs to stay kind of robust and firm. So the mixture that's going into it can't be too wet. So this is looking about perfect. Now you have to remember that the potatoes were cooked, the beans, because they've been soaking in water because they've come out of the tin, they're edible, and everything else is cooked as well. So what we're looking at here is a done pan. This pan is completely ready. So what I'll do now is, I'm, for the benefit of the video, because we are making a live Bosch video, I'm gonna go up and out with this, okay? Three, two, one, boom. So if you're cooking along at home, and you've got that pan full of wonderful potatoes and beans and peppers, put it to one side. Do let us know your questions down below. Chaz may have one for me right now. In fact, we just heard someone um, who's made up a new nickname for Chaz in the comments. Oh, yeah. And the nickname that they made up was Chazrington Las Vegas. Chazrington Las Vegas. Chazrington Las Vegas. So um, whoever it was that came up with that nickname in the comments, well done. Well Chazrington Las Vegas, do you have any questions for us? Amy on Facebook is asking whether or not we uh, eat all of the food that is cooked for Bosch. Yes, in short, but we don't eat all of it as in like all of the portion sizes, because um, that would probably cause a problem. Uh, but we do eat a little bit of everything for sure. And our neighbors are very well fed. We even sent some um, cakes to the NHS, the uh, British National Health Service a couple of weeks ago as well. So um, when we've got extra food, we will try and find a, a suitable home for it as well. Yes, a willing donor, and there's usually many of those. So here we go. Um, so now I've got an empty bowl, and into our empty bowl is going this. We've got rice, okay? So you can either use white basmati rice, but I've chosen to use brown because I feel that it's just a little bit healthier, isn't it? Absolutely. It's a lot better. So there we go. So there's the brown rice. And next up, we have got a small handful of coriander leaves. Leave the stalks for a different recipe because the stalks of the coriander are quite stringy and these leaves are perfect. So I'm just gonna pop this in here as well. This I is... think I've actually come to prefer the flavor of brown rice. I think brown rice is absolutely the one. It's just got a bit more to it. Yeah. A little bit of kind of nuttiness. It's, it, yeah, uh, like, yeah. Let us know your thoughts on brown rice in the comments below. Brown rice every time for us. Now these are, well, these are two halves making one whole lime and they are going to be squeezed in here. Sublime. Sublime. Here we go, and it's funny with limes, because sometimes you get a super juicy one, sometimes you get one that's got hardly any juice whatsoever, but I would always stick with a real fruit, rather than buying this stuff from the supermarket in a bottle. I don't know, I do, maybe I'm just a bit pompous in that sense. Oh I'm man, much, no, that, that, not at all. Much, Why would you not use a fresh lime? Yeah. Yeah, that, that stuff in a bottle is kind of plasticky, no. it just doesn't taste good. It's probably used with citric acid and stuff, you know? Yeah, and, and I'm sure there's preservatives in there. It's just, um, yeah, this, so <laughs> you just go. don't need it. Yeah. So here we go, we're just finishing off that lime, there we go, boom. Now, a little bit of salt and pepper, just to, um, just to add a little bit of seasoning. There's the salt. Here's the pepper. Now, and real easy, this is such an easy part of this recipe. You just move this coriander and rice and salt and pepper and lime juice together. And um, yeah, then we basically, we have the raw elements of the burrito samosa so we can start building them, which is absolutely the fun part. So there we go. There's our coriander rice. And I'm gonna go up and out. And there we go, we've got both of our elements. That's good, isn't it? That's amazing. That is great news. Chaswington Vegas has asked whether or not we can ship him one up to Thaden Boys. Thaden Boys. In, uh, East London where he lives. Uh, sadly, Chaswington, Las Vegas, we can't, but you could make your own if you wish. Chaswington, do you have any questions for us? 
Could one replace the rice with quinoa? Absolutely. Um, you would want to use the pack instructions, obviously, to prepare the quinoa. Um, but yeah, that's a great idea. In fact, I would go for any whole grain. I mean, look, we're pretty much never going to say you can't do something because the world is yours, cooking is yours. Um, you do need to learn to experiment and freestyle a little bit. Quinoa would be great here. Quinoa. Quinoa. Forever uh, wondering why quinoa is called quinoa and not quinoa. Do you know what I mean? Oh, we're even getting asked if you can double up on the lime. Absolutely. Yeah, you can. That's someone after my own heart. I always like to get a little bit more acidity. It's actually a good tip whenever you're cooking is um, almost anything will taste better with a bit more of the acid on it, whether that's lemon, whether that's lime, whether that's maybe a little bit of vinegar. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Oh yes, and now, I think we're, it is about time for us to build the um, burrito oh, samosa. Oh, oh. Now, so this is the fun moment. This is the fun moment, and it's also the moment where things could go wrong. So do watch carefully, because um, I'm going to show you exactly how you need to do it. So what we've got here is, um, if we go top cam, yeah. So what we've got here are just these, um, the large flour tortillas, the six of them here, okay? And, um, and they're really sort of nice and pliable, and you can just flop them around, and that's exactly what we're after, because we're gonna need that kind of durability and that, um, that ability to fold, because what we're gonna do is like end up turning this into a wonderful triangle full of delightful, delicious food. Now, the first ingredient that you pop inside your tortilla is the rice, okay? So I'm just gonna show you this. So it's straight in. Now you don't want to use too much because it needs to, f it needs to fill, but it doesn't need to be too full. Okay. This is that moment, right? When you're browsing around YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, and then you come over and you're like, what is this guy doing? Yeah, what on earth Why is this Why is he chat? like rolling this thing into a weird triangle shape? <laughs> it is bizarre. <laughs> now the best thing um, to use here is your hands. Now my hands are clean. Make sure your hands are clean too. And we just do this. Okay. And we just try and fashion it into a triangle shape, okay? Nice and easy, super easy, but really cool. Now, this is a, an ingredient that is probably not necessary, but just makes it just totally wonderful. It, go, it makes the burrito samosa go from good to excellent. Now, this is just some really good quality dairy-free cheese. We get the melty stuff, and we're just gonna pop that here in the middle, okay? What brand is this, E? This is the Applewood cheese from Asda. Um, it's very, very good, and it's actually reasonably priced, which is always a bonus, because some vegan cheeses are quite expensive, but that is actually really good. So, and now we've got our cheese, we've got our rice, we're gonna pop in our potato and bean mixture. Okay, so you just get sort of, you know, don't go too heavy. You know, like, to be honest, I reckon you'll probably be left over with a little bit of mixture at the end, but don't worry about it because you can just sort of nibble on it when the thing is baking, because uh, you know you've, you'll, you'll have deserved it and earned it at that point. One sec. So I'm just going to move all these in. It doesn't matter if all of these bits are kind of like lying around because those bits will all be wrapped up in the tortilla. Now that's kind of potato heavy, so I'm just going to pop a little bit more um, in the way of pepper and beans, okay? Because the, the idea is. Like a burger, you want every mouthful to, um, to have every element, okay? So following on from Amy's question, yeah. are we going to get to eat this for dinner tonight, Ian? Oh yes, 100%. This oh is yeah? No problem whatsoever. We can eat this for dinner and it's going to be a win. So if we see this here now up from Top Cam, there we go. So now that is kind of like a triangle in shape and that is the perfect shape for building the burrito samosa. This is almost ready, but you're gonna need one of these, okay? Now these, check this out. What I've got here is um, tortilla. This is just one tortilla that I've chopped into five pieces, and each one of these pieces is very important because it acts as a lid, and that's what I'll show you how to do now. So you take one of those pieces of tortilla, you pop it on top of the triangle of ingredients that you've just popped in, you squash it down just a touch, and then this is how we fold. So you take the bottom piece, you take the side piece, you take the last piece, you flip it over, like so, and you sort of just sort out the, the, the bits and the bobs that are popping out the bottom. That's very, very natural for this. And then 
you bang it on your baking tray. And that is one burrito samosa done. Okay? Now, shall I do another one? We have uh, Chassington Adventures. Oh, Chassington. It's a new name for Chas. Nice. Um, and yeah, he is suggesting we roll on um, because time is short. Okay, cool. Well, uh, in that case, if we just go back to the top cam. So there we go. That is, your tr that is one burrito samosa. What we've got here is five more and you've got enough ingredients to make five. So if you're making them at home, make five. So here we go. Three, two, one. Up and out. Now this will go into the oven once you've brushed it with a little bit of oil for around about 15 minutes until it's nice and crisp and brown, just like these. That is the texture and the colour and the consistency that you are after. Check it out. Boom. There we go. Wow. That is a wonderful thing. I mean, it's really quite... Um, it's a bizarre looking thing. It's very individual. It's uh, perfect for social media because it's the sort of thing that goes viral because not many people have seen this kind of thing before. And I can tell you right now, 100%, it's very, very, very delicious. Because I mean, think about everything that's inside the burrito samosa. You've got the potatoes, you've got the beans, you've got the rice, you've got the cheese, all coming together to form a wonderful burrito samosa with a little bit of guac, you're onto a winner. Now, we are absolutely going to taste this in a moment. Before we do that, if you haven't enjoyed this, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed it, then go ahead, give it a like, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, etc. We will be here every single day this week making Mexican food. Now, we're going to try this. I'm very much looking forward to trying this. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, we may have some housemates who want to try it too. Yeah, hey, wicked. Right, I'm going to pop some guacamole on mine because that's what I want to do. Housemates! Oops. There we go. Right, I'm going to go for the guac and I'm going to pop it on here. Three, two, one. On the guac on the top. Nice, here we go. There is the guacamole. It's good guac. It's real nice and it's going on here. I might as well just get a little bit of salsa as well. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm confused as to what I'm looking at. That is, it's quite a strange thing to do, but watch. <laughs> is it sushi? What? I'm not uh, sure. It looks like a, a sort of glacier cherry on the top. Now I'm going to pick this up. Three, two, one. Check it out. Look, look what I've done. Look at what I have done. I mean, think about that now. It's just like the perfect biting consistency. So that is what's going to happen right now. And let's dig in. While Ian is biting, we have a momentary reprieve. And look at this, we have some housemates. Welcome down. Mm. MJ, she is a vegan makeup artist. She mm. lives here. Darren, he trains. He does all of the vegan goodness and all the exercise. He lives here. Guys, try this out. This looks incredible. That's mine. Nice. Let, so let me go and get a, a, a knife. <laughs> Just get, get your hands involved. Go on, you got this. Well, you know what I like. So what have you guys been up to today? Well. Uh, well. We joined you guys in <laughs> Battersea Park and it was amazing, glorious sunshine in London. You can't beat London oh, in the sunshine. It was, I must stress here that it was a social distanced occasion. We all, yeah, we're well, lucky enough to live together, so uh, we hung out in our little ring. Um, but yeah, there was a, a lot of people out, mm. but hopefully most of them were observing the rules. Wherever you are, do stay safe at this time. Yeah, it was super busy, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. mad we busy. A picnic, really. Mm. Oh, Darren's going in. Well, and I'm going in. I feel in. like you need both the salsa and mm. guac, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm going to do that up. Oh, my. <laughs> We've had a few people asking if Darren and MJ are vegan as well. Yes, they are, luckily for us. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it, it helps make it easier living here, but also they get to eat all the lovely food, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. thank you. <laughs> Great, great uh, deal. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. You like that? I love, I love burritos, and this is this unique style of was it a samosa? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the idea. idea. I love Indian food as well, so it's mm. kind of like power combo. That's an absolute banger. Mm. Love that. Nice, mm. good. MJ, Delicious. thoughts? Delicious. So could we make one of these or a few of them, and then have them over the next twenty-four hours or? Absolutely. Pack yeah, a little pack lunch, wrap it up in tin foil, take yeah. it with you. You got burrito yeah. wherever you go. Yeah, Amazing. pop it in the oven, cook it back up. Mm -hmm. Beautiful stuff. Nice. Wicked. I, I mean, l let's be honest, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But it's also yeah. hilarious. But, and, it, <laughs> and, it, and it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works. This is why it's a good thing. It yeah. tastes amazing, it looks incredible, and it gets people to say wow, which is, yeah. I guess, what we're after. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Well done, E. Nice one. Smashed Way. it. That was good. That was a tasty, tasty one. 
thank you to all of you for hanging out with us again. We've got Mexican week. So this is a really, really, really strong week. Lots and lots of tasty food is going to be happening this week. Um, if you want to find the ingredients, go to our website, bosch.tv, and you can cook along with us. What are we cooking tomorrow, Ian? Ooh, tomorrow... I can't remember. But speedy chili from Speedy Bosch. Speedy chili from Speedy Bosch. Oh my goodness me, that is going to be a good one. So we will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for hanging out with us, everybody. Bye. See you later. Big love. See ya. Speedy chili tomorrow. Happy bank holiday. Woo.